Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to part three of our story. So we're going to be reading the story called Many Kinds of Bats. But before we begin any story, we need to make predictions. So making a prediction, remember, a prediction is what you think might happen in the story using the words and pictures. So a good idea would be to look and read the title and look at the illustrations, the pictures on the cover. So make a prediction. What do you think the story will be about? Oh, that's a little too big. I'm going to just move it just like that. So just looking at this cover, what do you think it's going to be about? You can start off your sentence by saying, I think and then tell me a sentence what you think the story is going to be out be about make a prediction so I think just by looking at the cover I will learn about many so a lot of different kinds of bats so we'll be talking and hearing about different kinds of bats what was your prediction? Remember, you can always change your prediction in the story. Now, I wanna ask you some questions, do some prior knowledge. So have you ever seen a bat at night? You can start your response to this by saying, yes, I, and then tell me the rest. Or you can say, no, I, and tell me the rest. So have you ever seen a bat at night? Here's a sentence starter. Yes, I, no, I. Now, you don't have to use it the same way. These are just some ideas. Now, how did it make you feel? You can start by saying, I felt... and then tell me. Or what happens if you didn't see a bat at night? Well, how do bats make you feel? Bats make me feel icky. I don't like bats. So just tell me what you think and how you feel. So have you seen a bat and how do they make you feel? These are all great questions and these are all going to be great answers. So we're gonna move forward. We will be comparing and contrasting in our story. So remember, when we compare, it's when two things are the same. When we contrast, it's when two things are different. Many kinds of bats. So here's the picture of the bat that I showed you earlier. Here he is again. my title page. Now we're going to be learning a lot of facts about these bats. So on this picture, it's labeled with bats. Did you ever see an animal fly at night? Maybe it was a bat. Remember, fly means bats are mammals that are able to fly, and it means to move through the air by using wings or parts like wings to fly. Bats and birds can fly, but they are not the same. Ooh, maybe we'll be comparing and contrasting bats and birds, so remember, a bird is an animal that has two wings. Most birds can fly. Bats do not have feathers like a bird. Bats do not lay eggs like a bird.
All bats have wings to help them fly. Bats have thin skin on their wings. So it's very thin. It's like really, really teeny. Bats also have long fingers and thumbs. Whoa, cool fact. Many bats use their thumbs to walk or climb. So remember our pencil long because it's not short. Remember, walk means to move your legs to go. And the word or is a choice. So we use to join other words when you have a choice between things. So remember, ducks can either swim or fly. And then before we heard the word feathers. So many bats use their thumbs to walk or climb. So they have a choice. They can do either or. <clears throat> so we have a big bat. Whew, and then we have a little bat. So we can compare and contrast these two. This bat is big, but this bat is small. But they are the same because they are bats. They are different because one is big and one is small. Bats do not have feathers. Bats have soft fur. The fur of bats is brown, black, or gray. Bats can be big or little. Some bats are very big. Some bats are very small. Many bats have big ears. Hmm, I didn't know that. On their heads. Where's their head? The big ears help bats hear many sounds. Bats can hear sounds that people do not hear. These sounds help bats fly in the dark. Hmm. So, do bats hear many different sounds that people cannot hear? Yes, it says it right here. Bats can hear sounds that people do not hear. Bats live in many places in the world. Bats make homes in warm, dark places. The homes of bats are called roosts. Bats sleep in a roost all day. So remember, it's like a little thing that they rest or sleep on. So here, it's a little hard, but this is how they do it. But what's interesting about bats is they're doing this upside down. So bats sleep in a roost all day. Bats come out of the roost at night to fly and eat. Whoa. So do bats live in many different places in the world? Yep, they sure do. It says it right here. Bats live in many different places in the world. Now, do bats come out at night to fly and eat? Yes, they do. Bats come out of the roost at night to fly and eat. <coughs> So here's a picture of a cave. So many bats make their roosts in dark caves. Some bats make their roost in piles of rocks or inside trees. Some bats live inside the walls of a house. Bats do not like to live alone. Many bats may live together in a roost. See, this is where they live together in a roost. Insect. Many bats eat insects. These bats wake up at night to find their food. Some bats can eat 600 insects in one hour. Whoa, that's a lot. When bats eat insects that bite, the bats help people. Hmm. Some bats eat fruit. Hmm. I'm learning a lot of facts about bats. These bats carry the fruit seeds away when they fly. When the bats drop the seeds on the ground, new plants grow on the ground where the bats drop the seeds. Hmm. Do bats eat fruit? They sure do. Do bats eat insects? Absolutely. Remember, you have to, we're going to be comparing and contrasting. So remember some facts about our bats and our birds that they tell us. 
So when you are outside at night, look at the sky. If you see something fly, it may be a bird or it may be a bat. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Cool. Did you guys like that story? If you didn't, that's okay. They're bats. Uh, I'm a little iffy on them. So let's think about a couple of things. Now, what is this on the bat? Remember, this is his wing. That's the bat's wing. Now, what is this book all about? Many kinds of bats. Now, I'm going to go to page eight. Page eight. Now, what is this bat on page eight eating? Hmm. This bat on page eight is eating an insect. Now, let's think about this. What are the two animals that fly? Well, we know that a bat can fly. And what else? A bird can fly. Where do many bats live? Hmm. Let's go back in the story. Ah, on page six, many bats can live in places in the world. They can live in homes, they make roosts, and they live in dark caves. Now, let's think about this one. How do bats help people? Hmm. Hmm. Bats can help people by, what do you think? So they eat insects that bite people. They carry fruit, seeds to new places. Okay, so bats eat insects that bite. So the bats can help people. These bats can carry the fruit seeds away when they fly. And that also helps people because they're dropping it. Now, why do bats have big ears? Hmm. Let's go back in our story. I'm on page five. So remember, bats have big ears on their heads. The big ears help bats hear many sounds. Remember, they can hear sounds that people do not hear. These sounds help bats fly in the dark. Well, I hope you enjoyed that book. I'm going to post in one more video where we are going to compare and contrast. See you soon.